Welcome to SciTech Culture with Steve Kern and Ben Warner, where we examine science, technology, and culture in the 21st century. Visit our website at SciTechCulture.com. Hello and welcome to SciTech Culture. My name is Ben Warner and I'm joined once again by my good friend and colleague Steve Kern. How are we today, Steve? It seems like we're shut in again. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, uh, I mean, it's nice and cozy being inside, but uh, I'd like some, uh, a break from some of the winter. <laughs> well, well uh, I guess Europe's having the equatorial African heat wave blast and we're getting the uh, polar blast straight off uh, Antarctica. It's cold. <laughs> Fantastic. Absolutely. All right, we're going to uh, talk about uh, Reddit today. Um, although I guess it's a, it's an example case uh, of how a, a, I guess a um, Reddit, it's like a community based type um, environment where um, uh, you know people share stories and talk about stories. And uh, I'm kind of interested to hear about it in terms of a news platform. Uh, when we have this discussion, um, but also that it's not just a news platform in the sense of here's an article, read it. It seems to be more of a dynamic, uh, interactive type of thing. And in some cases, which we'll go through, it might actually be ahead of the news sometimes. Um, and then there's also the flip side of, you know, the dark side of this type of uh, um, community just like any other, um, uh, that, uh, uh, but at least they have some mechanisms, I guess, to sort of semi-police that. Um, but before we get into the, the Reddit discussion straight away, um, I wanted to just touch on uh, two stories which then got featured on Reddit, obviously, uh, quite significantly, which was obviously there was the those tragic mass shootings in, uh, in the States in the past week, uh, which has obviously reignited the gun control debate. Um, there seems to be, uh, it seems to be going down the same route again. Um, and uh, there's almost like that exasperation um, of why, why it can't change, etc., etc. And it doesn't look like... Uh, anything's going to happen anytime soon. Um, and it was interesting that on um, uh, uh, what I saw on Reddit, there were um, a couple of articles which were going through and there was one in particular around how um, research showing, science and research showing that time and again, um, gun control actually does work and they were pointing to some, um, art, um, you know, some specific case studies around um how many people died from firearm deaths, etc., in the U.S. Um, over given periods of time, and that actually a lot of them are not reported in the sense that um, they could be not from mass shootings, but they could be from suicides, uh, murders, all that sort of thing. Um, uh, it's also one of the most poorly researched causes of death in America, which, but that might be more of a political thing, given uh, the nature of uh, the gun debate in America and uh, everyone's right to bear arms over there. But what was interesting. Uh, um, oh, and I just wanted to touch on, uh, there was another one, uh, the odds of dying in a gun assault or a mass shooting uh, was 1 in 11,000, more or less. In America, though, you've got a higher chance of being um, shot by police or law enforcement uh, at 1 in 7,000, uh, which... It's still the gun problem, isn't it? <laughs> it's still the gun problem. So... Um, so, so, so that was interesting to see how that was playing out on Reddit and the discussions. And obviously, if you've ever been on there and used it, essentially what happens is that um, the article will get posted and then you'll start seeing a whole bunch of people starting to talk about it. And given um, the, um, oh, what would you call it, the popularity of the topic will de usually determine how long those yeah. discussions go for. Uh, off the back of that as well, obviously Trump uh, features in this because he's obviously uh, um, a hot topic for discussion usually a lot of the time. And Obviously, the latest outrageous thing that he's gotten up to is bragging about his crowd sizes while visiting victims in the El Paso hospital where the shootings occurred, mm -hmm. which was obviously a lightning rod for people to start commenting on. Um, so, before we get into the the whole Reddit discussion, just is there any? Do you have any thoughts on those on those sort of ideas, there, Steve? Yeah, well, firstly, on the on the gun topic, America's unique. So, wherever you have gun control. It's not about the fact that there are no guns. It's usually that military weapons are banned. And these mass shootings that occur in America are all driven by handguns and automatic military weapons, not hunting weapons. And that's why America has this problem. There's that many guns out there already, probably unlicensed, unknown. There's too many. They get in the wrong hands. In places like Australia, Britain... Uh, and even New Zealand, uh, you know, you don't have access to those weapons lawfully. 
And that's the difference between the US and probably everywhere else. Mm. Uh, so, you know, it's I don't even think it comes down to the right to bear arms. They need to ban those uh, basically military-grade weapons. Ass- they're assault weapons. Well, isn't that the uh, the whole problem that uh, um, uh, from a political standpoint uh, it's being turned into if you take those guns away, they'll take everything away? Which is yeah. not which is not what uh, um, I think is being called for here, but even just as something as simple as getting proper background checks in place, um, even that is apparently an issue. Well, yeah, but I don't even think background checks matter. If you if you basically punished anyone with an assault weapon or a handgun, if you wipe them out, and I, I don't for a second believe you could actually do it anyway mm. in the short term in the states, but you know. It, that would be the only way to do it, zero tolerance on that. Uh, Australia has zero tolerance for that. If you have those weapons, mm. you're an outlaw. Simple, simple as that. Yeah. So it's the only way to deal with it. As for Trump, I'm just musing probably more on the idea that maybe we hit peak Trump last year. Yeah. And I doubt he'll win the next coming election unless, of course, the Democrats really mess up. So... Maybe what we're seeing is just a fading star. Well, that's this as it was, and the criticism that it drew. I just don't think anyone cares anymore. Well, that's the thing. Um, there was. Um, it wasn't just this. It was obviously even before that. There was the, um, you know, send them back stuff um, yeah. in terms of the uh, those uh, congresswomen, um, and it seemed like uh, there was. I mean, it's hard to tell whether it's wishful thinking or not. Uh, there seemed to be a, ch- a shift in um, or a change in um, the how it was being viewed, I guess, whether it was, all right, we're done with this. This is like do, like you're looking for another um, chant, another, um, another slogan to take to the next election, another dog whistle to take to the next election. Yeah, that's right. I mean, if you want to get rid of Trump, mm. first thing to do is stop screaming at him. Yeah. Yep. And he has no power. Yeah. Oh, and uh, well, and wasn't that uh, the the criticism of the news networks in 2016, yeah. which was that they gave him too much airtime, and that actually fueled the flame for him. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. But again, we've been in this position before, where everyone will say, "Oh, you know, he's gone too far," or you know, not, you know, surely now something will change. And yeah. we've been there before many times as well. So it's hard to t- to 100% predict how it'll go. But, but on that, I mean, you know, the views we've just presented here and the discussion we've had is the sort of thing that you see on Reddit, you know, yeah. and I think that's probably the, the strength of the Reddit community. It's, uh, you know, balanced, thoughtful, at least I like to think we are, but most people on Reddit seem to be that way. It's, uh, you know, a little bit less crazy like Twitter and a little bit more measured. Well, that's the thing, and um, in in browsing it in the last uh, few weeks, I found it quite interesting in terms of not only looking at, say, a news article or or something that is being discussed, but also then to read what people are ta- uh, yeah. saying about it as well, and the back and forth between it. And the the best of Reddit is really when those uh, discussions are quite thoughtful and engaged, and uh, mm-hmm. everyone's being respectful and courteous, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and it kind of fills out the actual original story or whatever it was that um, was being discussed. And uh, there's kind of, um, uh, and just focusing more on the positive aspects of um, the, the platform for now, um, you, you also get the sense of people having fun as well. So um, there are a lot of um, subreddits that um, deal with amusing topics or things that are out there or things that you, maybe you don't believe could happen or, um, you know, any sort of stuff, um, and uh, and or maybe it's like uh, uh, location based, so people have an appreciation for what goes on in a particular city. Will know mm. what um, a photo of that statue means or whatever, and that'll mm. uh, you know set off a whole um, funny discussion around it. So there's kind of a playfulness there as well that I've, that, that can be a lot of fun. Um, also, though, um, like with any platform, and uh, I mean, we mentioned YouTube before as another example, um, and uh, social media platforms do this in general anyway, is that you've also got the other side of things where people yeah. get a bit more uh, nasty, I guess, and a bit more um, uh, discourteous, shall we say, about how they go about it. The difference, though, it would seem is that Reddit um, takes more of a proactive approach, perhaps, um, it just in terms of... Um, 
I don't know if policing is the right word, but um, I, I've noticed that uh, if there's ever a political subreddit or mm -hmm. um, or any type of subreddit that could potentially, you know, attract trolls, although admittedly that could be anything really, um, mm -hmm. but if there's more troll-like type subreddits that would attract those types, you'll see a disclaimer, something along the lines of that, you know, this... Uh, this Reddit has, you know, this subreddit has been open for civil discussion. Please, mm -hmm. you know, mind people's courtesy and uh, the the and respect each other while you're while you're on there. Um, so that's why I, st I find that quite interesting in that respect. That um, it kind of holds that kind of place. Is it any different though than other platforms um, that do maybe not the same thing, but you know, mm -hmm. have content that people share and talk about? Reddit's probably the best example. It's got a strong community and it's got strong community values. And it's probably, in my mind anyway, I don't think it's perfect by any means, but at least it's close to the whole notion of what the internet and communication, free communication is meant to be about. And it's not, it, you do see a lot of polarisation that we see every day, but it's not never as polarised as, you know, a place like Twitter or as vindictive as a place like Twitter. So, and, and that's because the community wants discussion and more knowledge. I guess the only downside is, is that's where you see in some of these subreddits some really uh, dishonest trolling, rumour starting, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe sometimes it is a bit of fun, you know, for, for the hoaxes or whoever, you know, set some of these things up. But, you know, it, it's unfortunate. But, hey, that's that's just life. But but generally, you know, you can get quite a good analysis on uh, Reddit. And if, if you haven't made up your mind on a topic, mm. you can see the story and, and you can actually read people's ideas. And sometimes that can actually be informing and make you more knowledgeable. The other thing I wanted to touch on too is this uh, idea that um, being that dynamic news source in the sense that there are, have been occasions and I refer to the Burke Street incident that happened in Melbourne um, earlier in the year where Reddit was actually ahead of uh, the news um, in terms of actually I, I stating what was happening. Been. Yeah. Um, it's just quite interesting because um, it's, an, I guess, a, a reflection of the fact that we're all carrying around these devices that can capture these mm -hmm. moments as they happen. We just pull them out of our pocket and... You know, the, you know, a lot of them have got 4K cameras now that can uh, capture it in stunning detail, um, and it doesn't take long to get them up on onto the net. Um, and uh, that's what happened then in that particular case. And it was actually much later. Well, when I say much later, um, uh, later enough uh, that the traditional news outlets got it um, that uh, it almost seemed like it was out of date in a sense um, because they were not necessarily going by the latest information. Um, I find that kind of thing interesting um, and uh, uh, just to, like how that fits in and uh, whether or not that would be a, a properly trusted thing by people looking at it or not. Um, mm. or, I mean, it's hard not to say no, but um, could, you know, I guess, um, you know, the, the more evil version of it is that they could try and fake something or um, or something like that and uh, how would you know? Exactly, but that goes now for all news. I don't know how anyone can know anymore what's real and what's not, to be quite honest. Mm. I mean, uh, if you haven't seen it yourself, you're putting a lot of faith in other people. Yeah. Well, it's kind of nice to have this idea that um, if everyone's um, kind of re being respectful and um, mm. being and pl not play playing by the rules is probably not the right term, but the idea that um, we're all trying yeah. to get the truth out there, if everyone was doing that, then it's kind of a nice thing um, or a... Uh, positive thing that could come from it but yeah just so much of the internet is a uh yeah well it's not that great um in terms of what people <laughs> the way people behave and it kind of brings out a lot of the worst in people as well yeah so well it's true yeah i mean the internet's gone downhill <laughs> for the last 20 years 25 years unfortunately it's gone from being a place for discussion and sharing of high level ideas the more and more people that have flooded on it just yeah so it's nice it's nice though that places like reddit exist and there are people out there using it properly and just finally um it's actually been helpful uh helpful to us actually because um i yeah. can actually pop on there and uh um have 
I find uh, going through some of those subreddits for science, technology, and culture to be interesting because um, there's probably a lot more I can draw from in terms of pulling up show notes and stuff like that for us uh, to talk about because I'm actually finding going through the uh, traditional news sites or any other sites that I'm looking at for things to be a little stale now for some reason. I'm not sure why, but um, you know, I want to be able to um, you know spice it up a little bit with some yeah. more interesting things. So I think I might use Reddit um, a bit more. Regu- regularly for that sort of thing cool. and, and then we can cool. sh- and then we can share and discuss accordingly um, but of course and just as we we're, we're kind of like a virtual reddit ourselves or subreddit ourselves no well i'll set one up and then we can go <laughs> <laughs> all right we might wrap it up there steve so um don't forget our website scitechculture.com you can get all of our links and content there you can subscribe to our vimeo youtube channels and rss feeds hope you enjoy all the content and we hope you enjoy the website we greatly appreciate you visiting All right, so that's it for this episode. We'll catch you next time.